portions. This is something that uh, has become popular in the past, uh, recent past, actually not a long time ago. One of those later principles or theories, like or even the findings, you can say it. The world is all based on competition and, you know, reaching the markets, penetrating the existing markets, developing that market, competing continuously. Well, that was a game. But Blue Ocean thinks something different. It's about going for unknown territory, finding markets that were not explored. Where there's no demand, we create a demand. And where there's no competition existing and looking for opportunities not yet found by the others. That's the whole line of blue ocean. The world is kind of red ocean. The typical business marketing is all about this. Competing, winning over, succeeding, and then yeah, uh, identifying the competition, trying to be better than the competition. Most of our marketing theories and the principles are based on that. But the blue ocean is the very opposite. Going to a market where there's no competition, no very minimum competition. So as opposed to the saturated market or call it the crowded market where there's competition is heavy, Blue Ocean seeks to find something where the competition is not existing even. Well, these are the founders or these are the people who came up with the idea. Mind you, Blue Ocean is a research-based theory or a principle. These two people um, name, you know, Ma Bong and Chan Kim, Rainey, right? They uh, were more bothered about these two questions. How to make competition irrelevant? Can we really develop a market without thinking about competition? How to create a marketplace? There's no competition, no contestant contesting by others. And they spent years researching, about a decade try to find out uh, you know the ongoings in 30 different industries and yes they found that there is a thing called blue ocean a space exists where there's very little or virtually zero competition what's the benefit in blue ocean well it gives you freedom to test your thinking. You don't have to look over, you know, backward or behind over the shoulder. You don't need to worry about. You're not unreasonably threatened by the competition. And uh, you, all you need is a commercially relevant idea. And you have the freedom or the open space to try it out. And yes, minimum risk. When you do that, yes, these are the things. Uncontested terrain, unexplored markets. Petition irrelevant, so you can completely focus on what's ahead. That means creating a demand. But there's no demand. We'll look at some examples later. Key purpose of Blue Ocean is a value creator. Then the profit, of course. And yes, you need people to make this kind of change. If I give you just an example, think of Tesla. A unique auto manufacturer came up with a completely different concept for motor cars. They were not the first electric cars, but they were the first to rely totally on the electric cars. Tesla was the first to go to space commercially. Take something like Facebook Meta, a completely new idea where there was no competition. So whenever there's no competition or very little competition, you are trying to enter a totally new market where there's no one else there but you, that's Blue Ocean. How do you get that value created? How do you create profit out of that? And how are you going to convert the people to believe in this particular plan? It's not an easy thing to move into a completely new territory where there's no one else. Just like, you know, I mean, a, a company moving into a town or are a bank opening a branch in a town where there are no other banks. So you might wonder, right, why aren't the other banks are there? So you may think that, all right, there's no competition, maybe. That's why other banks are not there. So should we go there? That's typical thinking of a business. 
businesses love to compete with others because competition is a sign that there's a market existing when there's no competition it is a sign that there may not be a market existing so this is why we see right along the same street same type of businesses sometimes in the you have to have an open mind on blue blue oceans very different to the mindset you are having you will be having when you are competing in a very contested marketplace an easy thing yes and creating profit where there's no profit invented or discovered by competition is a hard task you have to start from the scratch you have to convert the people from the beginning you had by you had to introduce a new product and convince them that it's a product that they need and there's no one else who has done it before so you have to start from the scratch and getting your people to believe in it is an impossible thing sometimes people like to do the normal things what others do and when your company asks you to do something that no other company has asked their employees to do yes that is a worrying factor for an average employee so people conversion converting your team to believe in the blue ocean is a huge thing a bigger deal actually go for value innovation blue ocean helps a company to cut down the cost because there's not much marketing needed not much of advertising needed uh for the competition per se but the product has to be something of difference something that the particular market has not seen and it should be a product that you haven't tried in other places also for that matter it should be a new thing this is how to go about it start from number 1 yeah check the possibilities how are you going to get there think about it and yes for the current state after you make the move so it's a continuing operation it's not an ending thing mind you you may start something blue ocean but then uh, other competition may follow you so you need to be stay ahead of the game for a while so originally you may not be competing when you find a new discover a new market but once a competition comes it becomes a red ocean right so that's not uncommon for example take maliban was the first biscuit manufacturer in sri lanka in a larger measure but they had an open field definitely blue ocean i think at that time but then the competition came <laughs> ford model t was the first mass production motor car in america but not for too long others came behind so the blue ocean today could become the red ocean so the companies need to go about this continuously improving the opportunities to stay ahead of the game but later the competition comes and it then it's a red ocean right that's the thing take a look at the pain i mean a uh, step 3 uncover the hidden pain points as you know pain points you know what are the things in our company that prevents us from thinking a new coming up with a brand new concept right that's what you call as a pain point let's say manchi came up with uh, uh, you know idea like uh, take summer posh a new idea it was all right for new marketplaces you know that's blue ocean to a certain extent and candos came up with the candos shop it was on there now in colombo couple of places you do see the candos shops a blue ocean thinking no other chocolate manufacturer has done it so you know some companies are scared or worried of they are kind of in fear of making this you know changes that make a company to do something completely new so companies need to identify why are we kind of preventing ourselves from that so that's a pain point you identify the pain point and you basically take steps to kind of get over it and go about it when master divers of sri lanka under mr arya shila ratnayaka started sri lanka's first uh, ship repairing facility you know the ship you know the repairs uh, under the water level like that's a blue ocean thing no other operation existed in sri lanka um, for that matter so any new concept which no one else has thought about any new effort that no one else has figured out yet 
that's blue ocean that's a blue ocean thing when uh, uh, let's say mr shan vikram singh created tnl for sorry itn for the first time sri lanka's first private television that is blue ocean that was in 1970 1979 i presume so any completely new business that the competition has not thought about well you're looking at blue ocean challenge exist getting the team ready for that that's the key thing people matter immensely people are somewhat or very much less uh willing to do one thing that no one else has done because they think all right this is too risky thing and seeing profit in such a thing is a you know hard task creating that kind of mindset inside the company don't come easily so a lot of work is there to go blue ocean eliminate yeah identify uh, you know the factors that um, you know industry things that we should be doing um uh, yeah use raise create which factors should be created that the industry has never offered being above the industry standards identifying the minus points so we call it the value curve here you can see the steps to be taken by utility price cost and adoption so step by step by step is there a exceptional buyer utility in your business idea it's just go on think of the price think of the cost and go for it you find out something good if you figure out something of value in your operation you should take the next step of uh, you know a price for it and identifying a cost and yes using that idea into i mean a marketplace work that's a complete blue ocean concept all i you know what uh, the blue ocean suggests is that any business or every business should look into this opportunity this territory where you come up with an idea that others haven't figured out i yet to figure out no competition so i you will get the chances at the prices you will get the chance to manage your costs because there's not much of heavy competition element because you are in a totally new market and then the you will be adapting the idea you might as well adapt the idea that's the thing challenges well blue ocean opportunities are not always there though it's theoretically possible for companies to come up with a completely new idea it doesn't easily happen that way it easily happen that way these are comfortable at doing things they are good at they are better they are best at trying to come up with a completely new concept well that's something that not easy for a company so companies would love to see how others do it and they want to try to do, try to do it better that's the normal way rather than companies coming up with a completely new idea that no one else has tried before that's the thing post finding untapped markets is a challenge as well is but there are exists markets right, such as that right you know take a look at what uh, tesla did think of what uh, companies like uh, you know any company would be you know won't be impossible to find right for example take um, i would not say dif- i would say difficult but not impossible take damro coming up with a new style of furniture into sri lanka issue is yes the risk of failure is there it's a new market untested market so you really don't know how the market responds not like com- market with competitions take a th- take a look at the examples the model t there was henry ford he made the car in just one color black made millions of the cars made it cheap and americans converted from the horse to the car thanks to model t ford the 
cars came up in 1908 or something, right? Blue Ocean for a while, that was the first mass-produced car, but then others came up, came behind. iTunes was a, it was a huge revolution in 2003 when they came. Until that time, people were downloading the movies, sorry, songs, not so legally. And this was just at the start of the Y2 generation, so people could download movies. But the quality of the songs were poor. iTunes came up with an opportunity to legally download them, and it helped the entire industry, the music producers, the singers, songwriters, the listeners too. For a fee, higher quality music, a blue ocean thing. But today there are other options. Take Netflix. Initially they used to supply the mail order movies, but then they were the first to come up with the streaming option. Today there are others, I think. Uber, the first, you know, the car rental service where the company don't own cars, company actually rent the cars from the normal people. They were the first to do so. That's Blue Ocean. In Sri Lanka, it was pick me. Because today it's a red ocean, right? So anything that starts Blue Ocean won't stay Blue Ocean forever. Red Ocean comes. The competition follows. In, in a marketplace that's fast changing, Blue Ocean was a thing that has not been really focused for decades in this world. The world always believed in the competition game. And world, or oh, even the marketers of uh, the past, right, didn't think about or the philosophers or the marketing policy makers of the past didn't worry about a market where there's no market. Thinking behind Blue Ocean is that identifying a market where there's no market and reaching a market which is untapped. Catch you in another lesson.